you can write down three components of Navier-Stokes equation. The first component in R, the first term is dropped simply because um, steady state assumption. And then VR is zero. VR here is zero. Can we drop this term? No, so this term must be kept. All right? Pressure, does pressure change with respect to R? Yes? No? Not sure? If you're not sure, keep it. So let's keep it. Then, VR here is zero. Zero, zero. And this term, the whole term, according to equation of continuity over there, this term becomes zero. You can get it from equation of continuity, or you can determine it just analyzing the problem. Is there any GR, gravity in R? No, so GR is zero. So what you have would be pressure is not zero. I mean, the pressure is a function of R in this case. According to this equation, you can see that if you integrate it, pressure would change with respect to R, okay? For second, second component, say that component, right? In say that component, the, the first term can be dropped. The second term, can it be dropped? Yes, because we are here is zero. Is V zeta zero? No. Can it be dropped? Yes, because everything here becomes zero according to equation of continuity. Third, Vz is zero. V R here is zero. So on the right, on the left hand side, you get zero. On the right, is pressure a function of theta? Yes, no? Let me ask you a trivial question. When you have fluid flow, does it always flow from high pressure to low pressure? That is always, can I make fluid flow from point A and point B, from point A to point B, whereas point A and point B would have the same pressure? Can I? If you're not sure, just keep it. All right, this term, is it zero? No, we know that V theta is function of R, so it must be kept. How about this term? is zero. The whole thing here according to equation of continuity becomes zero. This term also zero because we say that here is not function of z. The whole term here becomes zero. Vr is zero. G theta is zero. So you have equation like this. Okay, last, Z direction. 
steady state assumption, Vz is zero. So the left hand side becomes zero. Does pressure change with respect to Z? Does it change with respect to Z? Yes. According to the weight of the liquid that put on top of the bottom, then this term cannot be dropped. We see here is zero, zero, zero. And gravity force right now goes down in Z direction. So it must be kept. All right. So, if we want to get velocity profile, obviously, we must use this equation. Problem is, can we do just like last example, put this on the left hand side and then say that everything on the left hand side is function of theta, everything on the right hand side is function of r, they are equal so that both of them supposed to be constant. Can we assume that or can we do something like that for this particular problem? Can we? If you remember, last week, I'm sorry, last time, Last time we do something like this. We put something on the left hand side and we assume that it's a function of one variable. On the other side, it's a function of another variable. And we say that these two sides can be always equal only if they're both constant. Can we apply this technique for this particular problem? Someone says no, someone says yes. Who says yes? Yes, because you do not know any other way. Um, look carefully, I say so many times. You can do something like that only if you can change differentiation to total differential. Can we change it into total differential for this particular problem? Can I change partial differential here to total differential? Yes, because V theta is function of R only. Okay, so I'm going to remove this partial differential and change them to total differential. How about this? Can I change? partial differential here to total differential? No, you cannot. Because obviously, pressure do, the pressure does change with respect to Z and C and R, right? If you integrate this equation, you get pressure as function of Z. If you integrate this equation, you get pressure as function of R. So therefore, pressure cannot be, I mean, the differential here cannot be changed to, partial, to total differential. So what do we do? So when you see something like this, and you see that the mathematical 
base or knowledge that you have cannot push you forward think again whether or not this one is zero because right now we keep this one from the assumption that from the uncertainty whether p is, pre is a function of theta or not we're not sure so that we keep it so if you reach the point that you you see that equation might be too hard to, to be solved think again whether this one must be kept or not okay so does pressure really change with respect to theta if pressure do sh does change with respect to theta that means from this point going forward in theta direction you normally assume that pressure would go down right in direction of the flow pressure would go pressure, I mean flow would go from high pressure to low pressure but if it's go down decrease in pressure and it's come back to original point here it's not possible right so therefore according to symmetry like this only conclusion that you can make would be pressure is not function of theta so in general fluid may not flow from high pressure to low pressure the flow of fluid can undergo a constant pressure you can do that as well just like in our first example the flow of fluid on the inclined plane pressure does not change in direction of the flow okay so in this case dp by d theta is zero once it's zero then you can integrate it easily so integration you give everything inside equal to constant c1 and then integrate it again you bring r up to the right hand side and integrate it again you get c1 r squared over 2 plus c2 you may ask why do I integrate it right away why don't I apply some boundary condition to solve for c1 first I don't do that because at this point at this stage here we do not have any boundary condition relating differential r v zeta so since we do not have any information regarding boundary condition for this point so we just move on keep to um, bound to integration constant and hopefully we can find two boundary conditions associate v zeta with r do we have those boundary conditions if I divide everything by R can I do that can I divide the whole equation by R for this spec uh, specific problem we can do that because at r equal to zero is out of our system our system does not include the point where r equal to zero because our system is just liquid in the annular area okay so this equation must be solved using two boundary conditions that means you need to know velocity at two points of r do we know any 